All right, y'all, so we're building up to this question here, which is a little messy, but we're starting with this right here, okay? And this one actually can get messy, but it doesn't have to be, all right? So people see this question and they're like, okay, let's cross multiply, but you don't need to do that, okay? There's a much easier way. Here's what you can do, okay? What number could you put in for x here so that you would get a five? What plus three is five? X equals two, right? Now, always make sure to check, okay? Because we need to make sure that it works here too. And yeah, if you put in two there, two plus one also gives us three. So X is two. That's it for that one. There's nothing else that you need to do except just make sure that you don't, when you have something like this, don't just check one piece and be done. Because remember, it's a fraction and fractions can be multiplied the top and the bottom by certain numbers. You know, they can be reduced. So you gotta be careful, okay? So now, for all integer values x and constant k, if this is our situation, what's the value of k? And again, what people like to do here, what people like to do here is they like to, okay, let me do first outer, inner, and go all the way through. But here's the thing, okay? x plus 2 times x plus k, okay, has to equal this up here, right? Well, 2 times what gives us 8? Only one thing, k has to be four. And if you took the time to foil this out, you would find out that it's true, but it has to be true because only two times four would give you eight. And it's the only one of the answer choices that would multiply to work that out. Now we get to the best one of the set. Okay. So here's what we have. N squared plus X squared is 85. All right. And it says XN is 42, right? And it's asking for this. Now, what people do for this one is they like to try to figure out to solve for x, solve for n, let me go through that, how do I solve this? No, here's how we can make it much easier on ourselves. x plus n squared, right, x plus n times x plus n, here's what we do. First is x squared, outer, xn, inner, and x, n times n, n squared. So what do we have? x squared, xn, and nx are the same thing, so we have two of those, 2xn, plus n squared. Now, here's what I'm gonna do, okay? I'm just gonna write this a little differently and I'm gonna use a different color, okay? We can say, we can remember, if you're adding terms, you can put them in whatever order you want. So you can say x squared plus n squared plus two xn is what we have here, right? Which is the same as this. Well, x squared plus n squared is what? n squared plus x squared is 85, all right? xn is what? 42, so we can do two times xn, which is 42. So what do we get? 85 plus 84 gives us 100 and, whoops, 169. Answer choice D. Boom, make sure that you're liking, subscribing, commenting. I'm loving getting the chance to talk with all of you. Spread this to everybody because I feel like so many people need it and I want to get the word out and I love you all so much. Thank you for everything and all your support. You're amazing. Watch my other videos. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Peace.